Hello Sadie, welcome to your reading with me. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, it's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. Oshun, I think. Some of these names are quite hard to pronounce. Oshun, generosity. Okay, see how happy and kind of luminous this Divine Feminine is here. I feel like you've been really generous to yourself at the moment. Maybe having those maintenance days, pamper time, things like that. So you're just feeling kind of really good from within. I mean, she's glowing here. It's just literally um, feeling extremely positive within. You are the light as divine feminines. You know what it's showing here? Showing and glowing. And I keep getting this message from the collective about a lot of divine feminines kind of pulling away, slipping away from the divine masculines, you know, and kind of know when you take your energy away, that's when the divine masculines, they can then sort of put their energy back onto you, you know, and I feel a lot of divine masculines picking that up and then they're becoming more kind of, um, obsessed with you uh you know a bit of like the chaser going on here what else are we getting here yeah okay i took two by well nothing's by accident is it i was missing by accident but um literally what i was just talking about there lilith independence you are independent you're strong you're just fierce right now I mean, look at this lovely mane of red hair this image has. So some of you may be watching uh, may have hair like this as well, you know? It's just, hmm. You're shining, Divine Feminines. Generosity to self, independence from anyone else. Independent women, men, question. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Green Zara, I think that is. These are quite hard to kind of... Some of the writings with hearts read, I think it's or Sara, Sara, Salvation. In all of these images, I'm just feeling like Divine Feminine's really um, happy within self at the moment. Happy by herself, you know, if you're not um, in communication or just contact whatever with your Divine Masculine. You're doing well though, you know, you're just happy doing your thing working on yourself, living your best life, you know. That's what I'm getting, loves, here for divine. Should we take these that kind of leapt out there? Let's have a little look at the psychic tarot. I just feel this is going to be more divine masculine. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let me just double check. I'm sure this is sort of, let me just think about this. Swords energy in this deck. <laughs> so we've got six of, let me just double check guys, sorry. I, I get mixed up with the indigo and the blue color in this deck. I just want to check for a delve into it. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is swords energy. All right, here, lots of swordsy stuff going on. Interesting here, we've got six of swords, seven of swords, okay. Moving on from deception and envy. Um, I feel this is actually karmic energy. So divine masculines who have been in a third party situation, a third party relationship specifically, um, there, there is something they've discovered about that situation of being lied to by the other person. Um, I feel the karmic person lied to them about things, but also a lot of them lied about you to this divine masculine, I feel. This deception and envy is kind of feeling to me, it's like the mask, you know, has been lifted here from this karmic person, you know, the, the, the two colours are starting to show. 
envy, you know what I mean? They're literally green with envy. I really feel a lot of the karmic partners are jealous of you. And it's like, they can't, what, what it is, let me try and explain this right, is that they feel the Divine Masculine moving on from them, moving away from them, moving to you. Because it's almost like, you know, you've pulled your enemy as, energy away, as I was saying. You're kind of slipping away from the Divine Masculine and that is drawing them more to you. And he's literally going towards the light here. But the karmic can also feel that too, them pulling away and then it's like they feel your connection, the two of you too, because it is so strong. You know, people around, people around Twin Flames can feel that. And I, I feel there's a lot of karmic people here that have felt this. You know, they may have been with the Divine Masculine for a while, but it never truly felt like they had them, if you know what I mean, like they had all their energy. And they can feel it pulling away from them. So. You know, everyone can kind of feel this, even this karmic person. Let's get one more. Okay, let's be one sticking out here. What is this? <laughs> Heart chakra. Heart chakra uh, activation going on here from divine masculines, okay? Letting themselves move on to where their heart is truly guiding them to go, you know? Those feels coming in here, there's a lot of feelings going on for Divine Masculines towards their Feminine. You know, the focus is kind of on Divine Feminine, strongly I feel. It's almost like we've got the green and the green here. I mean, it's just almost like this karmic person feels where your Divine Masculine is going to. If you're dealing with someone who is in a third party relationship, but even if you're not, this is those, um, it's the growth here of this heart chakra. It is opening up, it is feeling, okay? And when they feel, that's when they're really guided where they should go, you know, moving out of situations that don't serve them, okay? Whatever that may be for you. Moving on from things that don't serve them. Um, I'm actually going to get a little Game of Thrones deck. I'll use this for a while. But yeah, I'm just strongly getting karmic people here feeling very jealous of Divine Feminist. They may have looked you up on social media as well and it's like they see how generous you are, how kind, how abundant I just feel you are. You know, you're independent, you do things for yourself, you know, and a lot of these karmic people here don't. They rely, you know, on your divine masculine. And they're just jealous that <laughs> they can feel divine masculine slipping away. Okay, let me get these couple from the floor. <laughs> right, so there's going to be some heartbreak here and you know, I feel like this is for um, the karmic people involved in this. Um, Divine Masculine doesn't want to feel the pain of being in unfulfilling relationships as well. So this is air energy. Move, like literally moving on from this third party situation here. We've got the King of Swords. Aquarius energy could be Libra, Gemini. They are telling themselves a bit of home truths here, Divine Masculine. You know, King of Swords is all about truth, clarity, 
communication, um, transformation. They're kind of transforming their lives, moving on from these, you know, karmic situations. Um, and there's someone who is very, very intelligent, very strategic, um, kind of formulates a plan. Um, you know, they could have been really cold with you in the past, given that impression anyway, because King of Swords can be a bit of a, an ice king, okay, but that, that ice is thawing, you know, <laughs> that little cold heart is thawing here. And um, it was never that they were truly cold before, it's just, you know, that unwillingness to kind of open up sometimes, okay. But there's been a transformation here. It's King of Swords cutting away, look at the size of the sword, cutting away things that doesn't serve him. Perhaps cutting away this mask of this karmic person and seeing them for who they truly are. Okay, and we've got the nine and ten of cups here. Water, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, so, I mean, this is all emotional. This is all to do with this heart chakra starting to kind of open up here. And then moving on from those situations where they're just truly unfulfilled to finding wish fulfillment. You know, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. It is going after your kind of heart's desire. Um, and their heart's desire is this Ten of Cups, this abundance of love, which has been missing in this situation. You know, um, they are thinking about what would make them happiest in the future and this is why they know that they kind of have to um, leave the current situations or they're just not going to get this nine and ten of cups you know this is um the happily ever after card the ten of cups you know it is having that utter abundance of love it's been truly happy. It can be about marriage, kids as well. But I just feel an awful lot of them here, I mean, they just truly have been deceived by someone, you know, some karma that they have been involved with, okay? They're just suddenly finding out the truth now about something here, something going on. And it's like, I'm just getting their thinking like I've been such a fool. Kind of thought I could make this situation work, replace my divine feminine. And <laughs> they're suddenly getting this <laughs> realization, it's just dawned on them that the person they were with isn't who they thought they were at all, you know. So it feels like speaking about a truth to themselves with this King of Swords energy, okay, and truly listening to their heart. So, what else am I going to get here, loves? I think we might get some moon oracles, uh, but bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Things are changing, the wheel is turning. Um, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Wheel of Fortune is destiny. So the overall energy of this is this divine masculine moving on from where he's currently at to his destiny, you know, to his, to his Ten of Cups. Who's he going to get that with? Divine Feminine. So let's get some of Moon Oracles, I think. Hmm. Interesting. What we got here? What do you need to release? Okay. Now, this is currently... I feel more a message for a Divine Masculine. What do they need to release? Things that have held them back, you know? from progressing with their Divine Feminine, 
things that don't fulfill them, you know? That's what they're currently releasing and moving on from. Hmm, have faith in your dreams. So, some of you watching may be getting really vivid dreams about your Divine Masculine at the moment. And you may have just been kind of dismissing them, you know, some people think like, if you're just thinking about someone a lot, you, know, you dream about them, but it tends to be that there is real meaning behind those dreams, especially in these connections, you know, so have faith in those, like you could be getting messages about this situation through your dreams, it's really common. Just notice as well the butterflies here. Um, Divine Masculine going through a hell of a transformation at the moment. A metamorphosis, you know, like the butterfly does go through. Um, what's that one more, I think? Well, two came out. Let's get these two. Guys, I'll be having the February Zodiacs all going up on Sunday, the 31st of January as well. I think around 3.30pm UK time, so look out for that. Okay. Hmm. Step out of your comfort zone. Interesting. So that's kind of what the Divine Masculines here are doing because... It could have just been easier, they perceived, you know, being with their karmic, not really thinking, feeling, you know, just, just having someone around, not kind of getting all the intense emotions that they get when they are with their divine feminines. They are stepping out of it. This moving on card, I just feel, is so important here. Moving on. I mean, Six of Swords is about being guided by Source in the right direction. And it's about removing emotional distance, you know, between you and them. Meditate and contemplate. Uh, new moon in Pisces, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be Pisces watching here. Um, but, you know, Take some time out for you, Divine Feminines, which I feel you've been doing a lot here. That's what I was getting with this first card, looking after yourself. And, you know, you may receive messages while you are in that quiet space, kind of meditating on this. But, yeah, I just feel this dream state, you know, <clears throat> a lot of you getting these messages about this. Okay, and I've got my Feeny Oracles here as well. Well, let's get, I've just felt guided to some cards I haven't used for a while. Fairy spotting. It's time to go fairy spotting. It said that seeing is believing. Yeah, but the fact, in fact, the opposite is true. Believing is seeing. It is kind of that, that law of attraction, that manifesting state of mind. You know, a lot of people, they do... They do kind of think that with these relationships, like, you know, if I get a message about maybe like communications coming soon, they'll be like, well, I'll believe it when I see it. Or, you know, they just don't kind of believe in it. But you kind of have to get into that um, vibration of already believing, you know, and then you will see it. So a little bit of advice there. One more from this. Oh, interesting. You got to protect your dreams here. And stargazing. Protect your dreams. You're the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. Interesting. I, I was saying dreams has come through as really important here. Um, you know, protect what you believe in. And it's almost like, protect them in your heart until you're ready to release them. Where was that card we got about, <laughs> what do you need to release? 
What do you need to release into the universe and put out there? You know, what you think about, you bring about. You are what you attract, you know, you attract what you are. So I like, hmm, it's a lot about putting this out into the universe. Stargazing. When you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Mm. Well, that's what I was saying as well about that medita meditative um, state, you know, uh, doing that, you know, and kind of almost going off into this like trance, like stargazing, um, you will receive downloads, you know, messages about this. Um, you know, even hear your higher self type thing. So I, I just feel divine feminines at the moment, really in that kind of high priestess state of mind. Your intuition is incredibly strong at the moment. And I'm going to get couple of messages from my little homemade deck that I am in the process of finishing so I can publish it into a proper deck. Okay, what messages do the very feminines watching need to know? Also, there is some Queen Diane merch you might see at the bottom of this video. Or you can click in the store tab and have a look, guys. Okay, what have we got here? And it, the same messages keep coming out at the moment. Quite a lot. Yeah, text call coming soon. Well, I keep seeing this. <laughs> I know a lot of you in my comments um, on here and my Instagram, which is at queendiane222, so you can follow me there. Um, I know a lot of you have got sudden communication. Some of you, while you're actually watching the videos <laughs> a lot of the time, get this communication. You know, King of Swords. Swords is about communication as well. So you could be hearing from this King of Swords soon. Ooh, what's the sweet sneaky one that popped out? <laughs> I know I've been an idiot. This keeps coming out as well. I know I've been an idiot. So I'm moving on from this crappy situation <laughs> that I've kept myself stuck in, you know? I'm feeling a lot of third party relationships here, but it could be your divine masculine. You know, there's some other type of third party thing here. Just take it how it resonates, loves, but. <laughs> you know, they've been an idiot. Ooh. You are so beautiful inside and out. You are glowing, like I was saying at the start here. You're glowing. Um, so never forget that. You're divine masculine. Thinks you're like the most beautiful person they've ever seen, you know? Never forget that, guys. So I'm going to leave it there, loves. I really hope this did resonate. 